Welcome everybody back to the Figure Kit Garage, fellow resin heads and kit builders. Brent Krug back with another out of the box review. And this week it's a slew of goodies from George Stevenson and Blackheart Models. Uh, this arrived on Monday afternoon. And this is the second set of Star Trek Micromania bus we're going to start off with that I'm doing for a client. And these three feature Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott, Communications Officer Niyota Uhura, and Helmsman Hikaru Sulu, played by James Doohan, Nichelle Nichols, and George Takei, respectively. All three of these busts, just like the uh, Kirk, Spock, and McCoy that I reviewed last time around, were sculpted by none other than Jeff Yeager. And once again, Jeff has done just an outstanding job of capturing these likenesses bar none these are without a doubt the best that it, that's ever been so we're going to start off with scotty himself and yes the base is already started i've got something special in mind for those but the likeness to james doing in his younger years is absolutely perfect uh comparably the AMT Ertl vinyl series that was done back in the 90s did have a uh, Scotty vinyl kit, and this blows it way out of the water. Uh, Jeff did an amazing job capturing the likeness, the pensive stare that Scotty would always get from time to time, lips pursed, either thinking about how to get out of trouble or how to fix something that just broke. But other than that, Jeff nailed it. Logo on his Starfleet badge sculpted really well. Nicely captured. Nice detail in the shirt. Pretty much all the prep work on this has already been done. I was working on this last night. Wasn't able to get the video started until today. Beautiful detailing in the hair. Skyber sideburns, excuse me, so sculpted very nicely. Just an amazing portrait of a young James Doohan. And sadly, Scotty is, or James is no longer with us. Passed many years ago. But Scotty will never be able to give anything enough power to get it going. Always a classic. And, as always, the basis for the Micromania bus, unchanged. And then we come to Lieutenant Uhura, played by the lovely Nichelle Nichols. And Jeff really captured Miss Nichols in her younger years, spot on beautifully. The hairstyle done incredibly well i apologize for the camera camera blur well, i can't speak today worth anything just a beautiful likeness all the way around and she does come with two little metal earrings in the bag so i don't lose them i'm going to be awfully cautious getting those in after i get her painted up Minor seam line that was running all the way up the back, up into the hair, was already taken care of. Just really, really well done. And as you can see, I've already filled in um, the tiny mistake on the uh, Starfleet badge that uh, she wears. Her logo is supposed to be the same as Mr. Scott's. But the uh, command logo that uh, Captain Kirk and uh, Mr. Sulu wear um, was sculpted in. Minor nitpick. I'll get that taken care of, no problem. I had to do the same thing with Mr. Spock. But just a beautiful job by Jeff once again. Minor air bubble. And that's already been taken care of. Other than that, incredibly clean castings and then we have 
Mr. Sulu, played by George Takei. And Jeff really captured his likeness well. I was really, really wondering whether or not uh, this, how well this would look up close. I mean, you look at the photos of it and it looks good, but you get up close when you finally get this thing in hand and it looks fantastic. Command logo badge sculpted in really well. Minor air bubble in the ear will have to get cleaned out. But apart from that, capture the likeness of Hikaru Sulu very, very well. Just perfectly done. And these busts normally retail for $30. And they all stand roughly about six inches tall with the base. But during Halloween, uh, last few quite a few years uh george has always been running uh, halloween sales and i was able to pick these up instead of 30 dollars. i picked them up for 25 dollars each so five dollar discount uh halloween sale you know really not that bad not that bad at all um, as always george's customer service is nothing less than top notch um, once he got these things in the mail uh two day priority and they were at my doorstep so Hats off to George Stevenson for his customer service yet again. Can't say enough about that. And the next bust, this was for me. <laughs> Another Micromania bust. I had no idea this was even out. But most people that know me know that I am a fairly big fan of Godzilla. And within recent years, uh, I can't deny that I have become a severe fan of the new Legendary Pictures Godzilla, which debuted in 2014. And this one was sculpted by Joe Ladotti. I hope I pronounced his name right, Joe. If I didn't, I apologize. But this is the 2014 Godzilla. Let me change the light around here. Get a better look at it up close. Good God, camera flare is really bad. There we go, much better. Three pieces, base, body, and the lower jaw. But Joe did an excellent job capturing this new version of the King of the Monsters very, very well. And Joe's sculpting of creatures and monsters um, over the years has been just exceptional. Capture the skin detail for Big G really well. Damn, this camera does not want to cooperate, especially in brought in daylight, which I'm actually filming in for once. Minor flashing in between the uh, the spines on his back. Nothing that can't be handled really easily, but Joe just did an amazing job, and then his little jaw will fit right in there like so. Man, sorry about the camera shake. This thing does not want to focus at all. There we go. Damn, autofocus keeps trying to autocorrect. And this little Godzilla comes in at five and a half inches tall, and I picked him up uh, during the Halloween sale. Um, normally, he goes for $25. I got him for $20. And he came along with the, uh, the Star Trek bus as well. And for the price, you can't beat that. Um, every one of the Micromania bus that George carries, I think the one of the I think the absolute biggest one he's got is uh, the Ghidorah. I think that's like the largest one of the series that he has. But then again, a creature with three heads, you really can't go small. And then. These were not a part of the Halloween sale, but something that Virginia and has wanted to try, and I decided to get uh, get my fingers in on it too, was set of 28 metallic rub-on waxes that George carries. Four sets of seven, 
uh, all different colors. It can be applied by brush for all different types of effects. And the various colors, you're looking at colonial, Nubian, pewter, olive, deep gold, gunmetal, and brass. Um, you can use these pretty much on anything. And you can seal, uh, you can seal them with semi-gloss, gloss, or flat, clear acrylic uh, protectant. And from everything I've seen on Facebook and all over the place, uh, these things work really, really well. And I guess you could say a little bit goes a long way with these things because it seems like you don't have to use a whole heck of a lot of it. Another shot of the colors, and these for 28, uh, the 28 waxes is $42. So, all together, I believe I spent about a hundred seventy five, about a little over a hundred and thirty dollars. I think I spent all together, which for four busts and the waxes uh, all together, real, you know, was a really good deal, especially with the Halloween sale. I didn't even realize the Halloween sale was going on right up until the last day, and that's when I wound up placing the order. So I really uh, soloed under a lucky star and got in on a really good deal for the busts and the metallic waxes. Uh, I'm sure we'll be trying those here in the near future, but for what you get from George at Blackheart, all the different offerings, the monsters, the Star Trek busts, even the original pieces. Again, you cannot go wrong. Oh, this looks really weird. Godzilla and Star Trek. <laughs> Welcome to the figure kit garage. Uh, that is it for this review uh fairly short um i hope everybody is keeping themselves safe and healthy with the fall fall and winter season coming on uh the spike in covid cases going up sharply to the point where california as well as a lot of other states are going on mandatory curfews. Uh, for us, it starts uh, tomorrow night at uh, 10 o'clock and runs all the way through the 21st of December. Um, I know it's been said before, but for God's sake, people wear a mask. I see a lot of people out there as of late that wear it under their nose or tucked up under their chin cover your damn self up with a mask please this virus is getting worse and until the vaccines that are being reported as being over 95 percent of 95 percent effective or higher until those get approved and can be distributed we've got to do everything we can to slow this thing down um i have been i guess you could say overcautious uh, making sure that my family doesn't get it uh, with me still working uh, Amazon has gone to some pretty extreme lengths to make sure that uh, their employees don't uh, get it or spread it but you know you can't you can only do so much with what you have and now we're facing toilet paper and paper towel shortages again so take care of yourselves take care of each other wear a mask practice your social distancing stay healthy stay safe and since i won't be able to do this next week i want to wish everybody out there a happy thanksgiving i know all families can't be together for the holidays but we do the best we can with what we've got in the current situation so have a happy thanksgiving enjoy your turkey enjoy the nap afterwards stay safe build a kit